Hey Cedar Valley, I'm Jenny Wall. I'm the TV broadcasting and video production teacher here. Um, I teach Skybound and all of the video classes. Um, today I'm going to give you some simple tips on how to take better photos um, on your phones. So I know that's the camera we mostly have with us and that's the camera you're going to use the most, so I want to give you some tips there. Um, if you want like amazing, awesome, really good tips, you should take photo from Mr. Trapani. He is awesome and knows a lot. But my quick tips for you are, first is to pick the time of day that you're taking pictures to be either um, in the early morning or golden hour, or that's around sunset. And those hours are generally considered to have the most beautiful light, and it's gonna give you that nice, warm, sunsetty glow that everyone wants in their pictures. So that's tip number one. Um, tip number two is to pay attention just generally to the light in your, in your pictures. So if you were taking pictures in the hallways here at school, you could take a picture standing directly underneath the light in the hallway, or you could take just a step to, like a foot to the front and take a picture there, and there's a massive difference between those two photos and how you look in those photos. So every time you're about to take a picture, you wanna think about where is the light coming from and then how can I use it to best, um, to best make my photo look the way it needs to be. Um, so that's for hallway light. If you're taking a picture in um, the stairwell or somewhere with a window. It's really awesome to use window light, but only use window light to, to light the side of your face. Don't stand in front of a window and then have it really bright behind you because that's gonna look terrible. And don't like face towards the window because it's just gonna like wash you out. But if you stand right to the side, it's just gonna nicely fill in the shadows and it's gonna give you a much better look for that. Um, and then if you are taking pictures outside um, and you're in a situation where you can't take pictures during golden hour when everything looks beautiful and perfect, um, you want to think about where the sun is and where you should place it. So a lot of times people think I'm going to look into the sun to, so it lights up my face, but actually when you do that, it gives you like squinty like sun eyes and we don't want those in pictures. We want to see your eyes. Uh, so turn around and put the sun actually behind you so it's illuminating the back of your head and you'll get a much better photo from from that as well and so those are my tips for how to use natural light um, my third tip is using the rule of thirds so if you've taken my class or a photo class or an art class or any sort of class where there's design involved they're going to be talking about the rule of thirds because it's the golden standard of rules and basically what it is is you're dividing your frame into thirds like a tic-tac-toe grid, and then you're gonna use the points where those lines cross to set up your image. So, um, for example, on Instagram, it actually makes it really easy on Instagram, and I'll show you what I'm doing here on my phone. Um, when you are making a new uh, post on Instagram and you're using a picture that you have, if you start moving your photo around, you'll get the rule of thirds to pop up on your screen and show you like where um, those thirds fall. And then you'll want to pick one of those thirds to line up your main focus of your picture. And usually that's your eyes. If you're taking a picture of a person, it's their eyes, because that's generally what we look at when we look at people. Um, but if it's an object, you can put it on one of those little spots or um, if it's a landscape you'll also want to use the rule of thirds to set that up basically eyes should go on that top line and then you should just use those little squares to kind of guide people's eye around the frame so that's just a quick little instagram tip and then my um, last tip and probably the most important tip of all of these is when you're taking pictures don't pose. Don't like set up a pose and like try really hard to look like how you how you think you like want to look because it always ends up looking face face fake. I say the words correctly. Um, it always ends up looking fake. Uh, so the best way to take photos and the best way to um, take photos of people around you is to catch them in candid moments. So when they're not necessarily looking right at the camera. 
Um, usually it's a good idea if you're taking a picture of you with your friends is to like look at your friends instead of looking at the camera. And usually that ends up making people like laugh awkwardly and then you get a fun laughing picture to show um, what you're, how you guys are together. And that's more, more interesting to look at and you'll like those photos better in the long run than the ones where you're like beautifully posed. Um, it just feels more real. And the real you is the thing that we wanna see. That's the most important part of you, is just having your true self show in these photos that you take of yourself. And um, I encourage you to just be as candid as you can with the camera, be natural with it, because your true self is the one that everyone really wants to see. So that's our Jet Talk for today. Hopefully those were some helpful tips for you for taking photos and some good examples. And yeah, take one of our photo classes or our video classes if you want to learn more.